That show was very unsettling for me. I couldn't watch it. I didn't want to be around it. I asked him, don't write me in. Please write me. I have most of this. Give me a bite, please. Please. Don't just stand there. Help me grovel. <laughs> well, Daddy, I guess he could keep his bike downstairs in the garage. Yeah, Dad, and there's plenty of safe places to ride in the park. And as far as strange people go, I mean, they're everywhere. We've got one living in our apartment. <laughs> it was unsettling because I had myself gone through that. And watching it happen on the show, it was like reliving that all over again. I was reliving that whole thing all over again. Maybe we better not let your dad know about the bike. In fact, maybe it would be best if you didn't even mention, you know, that you came back here and I gave you all this ice cream before dinner. Why don't we just make it our little secret, huh? You know something, Mr. Horn? You're sneaky. <laughs> oh, sneaky. Yeah, I'm getting a whole new respect for Sneaky. <laughs> this is what happened in my life. And they didn't know about it. You know something, Arnold? I really like you. I really like you. You and I are going to have a lot of good times together. Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors. Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> Shout out to the 144,000 as well, and the elect scattered abroad. Real quick, I want to go into this video, man. All right, it's about uh, uh, some documentaries, and I'll, Lord will I can tag them in the description box. Um, going into, you know, this uh, this wicked-ass world, man. You know, in this satanic industry that is uh, constantly being pushed here. First, let me go here. Oh, but this one is called An Open Secret. All right, and there's another one. But let me uh, grab this real quick. All right, let's go here. It says, um... <clears throat> so lucky. Let's go here, profane. It says Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, for who for one morsel of meat, one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And um, in these documentaries, which I advise you to watch, this is just gonna be a quick one in the spirit. You know, um, directing you to these documentaries. You know, here we are in the, um, you know, in the year 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, as the Elder Pastor has coined it. And um, there's a lot of things that's being exposed. You know, and that's going to start coming, come, that's going to start coming to the light, and coming back to the light. All right, about these, about this world, this, um, you know, uh, America, the people that are in this place, and how wicked they are. All right. But I've been watching a lot of documentaries lately, and I figured I'll shine some light on these ones because um it's, it is it, is very you know sick, but it pretty much goes into you know Hollywood and you know that that industry, and how you have all these child actors, who end up getting you know pretty much groomed and you know um, great in that in that world. All right, it's a sick world. Um. I saw a video the other day. Somebody said how pretty much all these actors and celebrities and stuff like that, they pretty much have to uh, prostitute themselves to get, you know, jobs and roles, you know, in, in, in hopes of, 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 of accomplishing their dreams to be rich and famous. You know, they have to prostitute, prostitute themselves. And you have parents that even prostitute their children, you know, sending them to these um they, they, and, and the children get in, in, um, um, emancipated, you know, and they pretty much send them off with these random, you know, uh, predators, these random, you know, label execs or managers or, uh, you know, these people that work in, in that industry, you know, um, uh, you have these uh, modeling ag agencies and whatnot, and they send them off, their, their children off with these people thinking that they can trust these people but really these people are you know destroying these children and have been destroying children for years and watching these videos it's a lot of you know um 
um, you know, it's it pretty much, you know, Nickelodeon, Disney, all these pretty much major platforms were, you know, you know, that we watched as, as children, you know, the Lord had it where, um, you know, he kept us from all this madness, but in that world, you know, and, and you know, growing up, you were, you were, you were, you expired, you know, you, you, we, we, you were in, um, aspiring to be, you know, one of the people on the TV, but you, you, you now we find out the people on that TV, those kids that was in those TV shows and what, whatnot, they, they, amen, they, amen, they, they was living a life of hell, you know, and then they grow up, like you saw the guy, um, Willis, you know, he, he, he looks completely, you know, distraught as an older man, because, because of what happened to them when they were younger, all right, so, I don't want to say too much. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the rest for you to be, you know, for 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 you to watch. If you decide to watch these documentaries, like I said, I'll, I'll link them in the description box. Um, let me go back here real quick. How long have I been telling y'all to so claim this free sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars a year? Anyone can get this even. If this is about this guy, um, Brian Singer. All right, I just watched. According this to the Wall Street Journal, since Disney acquired Marvel in two thousand nine, this. This guy right here, Brian Singer, who, um, you know, who directed, They're making you know, that uh, this guy, a phone call, but he too, to you know, this guy has not faced any, you know, uh, you know, uh, legal, um, he hasn't faced any repercussions for, for what, what he's did really, but this guy's a total mo. He was, he, he was abusing a lot of those kids, man. All right. And he, this guy's a, a well-known director and, um, you know, he directed, you know, X-Men 1 and 2, um, Superman Returns, um, uh, what is it, Rhapsody, Bohemian, or Bohemian Rhapsody, or whatever, there's a few things, well-known things, that this devil, you know, had a huge part in directing, so let me go here, because all these things are now, you know, coming to the light, and, um, you, you devil's gonna have hell to pay, man. You know, like I said, this is, you know, something to definitely watch, take heed of. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, they think that they want to put put their kids into acting or some type of en entertainment business, and it's not worth it. Look, well, look at this guy, um, Orlando Brown, as well. That guy coming out and talking, but, you know, you see how fucked up he is. A lot of these child stars who, you know, we watched growing up, you know, some of us that are a little younger, you, you might have watched these particular shows, you know, growing up. And a lot of those child stars were being molested on those um, sets, man. You know, and now they're all fucked up. Hey, look at Raven S -S 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 Simone. You know, she got all type of demons on her. But, but this is why. So it says, Luke chapter 8, verse 17. For there is no, nothing secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not come abroad. And, and, and these things were kept secret for a very long time. But now they're coming abroad. You know, and I want to use my platform to expose as much wickedness as possible as well. You know, let me grab that too. Um, rather reprove. All right, and all these people that's, that, that 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 has partaken in this wickedness, and it still goes on to this day. You know, in that world, man. You know, you got you know people that's getting, you know, taken advantage of and stuff. Um. All the people that that has that has a heart for part that even though you, you you may not even be be you know uh, arrested on this side or uh, what what not you know hey, hey man you you the, the Lord is gonna deal with you. It says Ephesians chapter five verse ten, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather approve them. So you know and this is why you know some of us you know like me particularly I was mentioned. Uh, I used to make music, and I recently brought out how I was um, in contact with an uh, acting agency. You know, and they were sending me all these roles, you know, to do, um, which I've done a few uh, in independent, you know, uh, stuff. But um, you know, all all the major roles and gigs, you know, it was always some 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 homo stuff that they 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 wanted you to do, and 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 I, you know, always rejected that. You know, it was you, 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 you couldn't pay me no, no money to do, to do no shit that's going to, you know, uh, go against my integrity, you know, but, uh, most people are not like that. Most people will, 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 will take it, do it. And you, you, you will see them on your TVs today. All right. It says, um, Ephesians chapter five, it's lucky verse 11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness 
but rather reprove them for it is a shame to even speak of those things which are done of them in secret. And you saw in the beginning of that movie, I mean, in the beginning of that um, of that video, that documentary, you know, you had that, that Edomite talking to, um, you know, Willis and or, you know, that kid. I forgot the kid name, but um, he was talking to him and he was pretty much saying this is going to be our little secret. You know, so a lot of things that's done in secret behind the scenes and you can and, and now, you know, with this understanding, you can go back and watch these shows and see all the hints and the signs, man. It's a very sick world that that that, 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 that we are living in. All right. He was sexually abused his minor client. You, you heard that, you know, I don't want to show too much from, from all the others. I did everything I could to prove myself. I think about it. You can imagine what happened next. I didn't know I was allowed to say no. I didn't know that alcohol was affecting my decision-making ability. He went on to explain being a part of the barrage of young men who Brian kept around himself at all times. Older you know, what's crazy is too is that, um, you know, now that I, you know, as I think about it, you know, I remember, um, you know, you see this different stuff in, mu in, in movies and games. And, you know, I remember, I, I think I remember it was a scene on, um, on, uh, GTA, as a matter of fact, GTA 5, when you play the game, it was a scene where they was chasing this, this, this movie producer or whatever. And it was, they was making terms about how they was making, you know, um, statements about how he was, you know, a, a, a damn predator. You know, they would have you go go, on, go to particular scenes and you would see, have, see these parties with all these underage boys there. That shit is real life, bro. That shit is real, you know. And it's it's, it's crazy because they, 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 they predominantly went for Edomites. You know, young Edomite boys. We showed you that this man is just sick. All right. And would lead groups of twinks like me into Brian's house. It was expected that these men had already vetted these boys to make sure they were legal. He would come hang out for a bit. Make sure everyone had drinks, and then he'd pick the one, two, or more he liked, and we'd see them an hour or three later. I was often one of them. I wanted to think I was special, different from all the others. I did everything I could to prove myself. I worked hard and secured contract work at various firms and studios. Brian told me I was talented. He was mentoring me. I had been hooked by the promise of working in film. I moved across the country on my own dime at his encouragement. He said it's what I was supposed to be doing. As long as he wasn't hurting anyone, I thought it was okay. I mean, I had been a willing participant, right? I didn't want to be another one of Brian's boys that got used and discarded. I wanted to tell stories. It's what I meant to do. It's what he told me I meant to do. I watched as he could make or break a career on a whim. He could turn his friends into millionaires because he felt like it. It's what he kept promising to do for me. In the fall of 2012, a group of us were sitting in the back patio of Brian's house. It was well after midnight, and Brian had already passed out in his room. On the opposite side of the property, the party was still raging. The thumping bass was relentless. I could never have predicted what would come next. It all happened so fast. I heard loud yelling coming toward me. When I turned, I saw Brian charging towards us angrily. He violently attacked one of the guests near me. I grabbed Brian and took him back into the house. His eyes were wild and full of rage. I have never seen him like this before. We went to his room when he slammed the door. I found a shattered lamp on the floor and began picking up the pieces. I'll fucking kill you if you leave me. Those were his exact words. I had never witnessed or experienced physical violence before meeting Brian. I realized I was trapped alone in a room with a violently drunk man. The terror quickly sank in. What had happened? I did my best to calm him down. I chose my words as carefully as I could. Would something I say set him off? I didn't want to find out. The entire article will be linked below in the description. So there you go, man. I advise you to watch it. You know, you you know, you watch these movies, X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men 1 and 2. Um, Superman Returns, and you see, and and, you, and, you, and, you, and these names come across the screen of the directors and the producers and stuff, and you have no idea who these people are, but you know they're they're really sick, you know and they, they 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 people that be on those sets that you know those children and even the, some of the adults, you know they get you know destroyed. Well, the reason why I brought this out too is I want to read some of these comments before I grab that. Let, 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 let's go back here. Um, this is the Book of Job, chapter. Um, 30 verse 8 it says they were children of fools yeah children of base men they were viler than the earth and he's talking about Esau 
okay, these Edomites, man, you, you, your so-called white race who predominantly is the ones who run in the scene, you know, in, in, in that world, you know. And if you want to get in that world, you're going to have to, you know, that they, 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 they're going to have it out for you. All right. It says, um, vile, uh, that's not really a good definition. Be viler. Um, very, very, very sick individuals, man. All right. Very sick individuals. So, you know, I want to go into this definition of vile. All right. They're viler than the earth. All right. Um, let me see. Let's go here. Dictionary right here. So lucky the screen is on on a whack. It says wretchedly bad, highly offensive, unpleasant, or objectable, impulsive, or disgusting. As Esau, as in a senses of feelings, morally debased, depraved, or despicable, foul, filthy, poor, wretched, of mean or low condition, lowly, de de degraded. Of little value or account, paltry. So yeah, okay, you can go down the line, but that, but 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 that's Esau. All right, let me read some of these comments real quick. It says, um, I had a friend who worked in the industry. He brought me to a party where all of the where all where my all-time favorite person was going to be. I was really excited and literally shaking when we got there. Once we once in the fryer. Some big dude with no neck hands me an NDA um, to sign. I turned to my friend and asked what, uh, what's with this. He took me back outside and explained that it, I was going to see really famous people doing really bad stuff. And this ensured I wouldn't tell. Long story short, I left and haven't spoken to him since. Point being, it is almost impossible for, for, for our big victims to be taken seriously in that world and that and that that and this is the reality man people that's in that world they know you know how sick that how sick i was, but you know the point i want to make too is that these people that that, that they're talking about people that's you know pr pr problem in the society problem that, that, that that's in this world the rich and the famous and they do very sick things to get to, to, to that you know to that to to to, to, to that level in the society and this is why we need to be you know delivered we need the lord to come because this world is a lot sicker than you could ever imagine. Okay, it says, to this day, my daughter resents me for not allowing her to get into Hollywood because she was asked to audition. It was a horrible industry for children for decades, and she was eight. I have no regrets. Right? And you, have, you have many stories like this where people, you know, parent people have, re, you know, children have resented their parents, but really those doing the best thing for them. It says, I remember when Brandon Fraser came forward, and it was pretty much back. And was pretty much blacklisted for it. I believe him. I believed him right away out the start. I've worked in the field. It doesn't just happen to star staff such as costumes, hair, lighting, all the way down the la the ladder have been victims to this in one form or another. Right. It says uh, for anyone wondering, he's worth a hundred million, and has faced no real consequences for any of this. Talking about this guy Brian Singer. Okay. What you're going to learn a lot about him as you watch these, um, a, 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 you know, if you if you watch these documentaries. All right. But, yeah, so Esau has been exposed, man. You know, his secret things are being uh, searched out and everybody's finding out that he's a real sicko, you know, a real sicko, a, 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 an abominable beast, you know, <clears throat> with no regards for uh, for, you know, um righteousness or the ways of the most high it says um let me read if i can find one more and i'll close out it says um i was 10 when i was approached by a modeling agency in southern california my mom took me to my appointment but she refused when she heard that i would be in la every weekend for parties work i hated her for years because of because over ruining my chances my chance she saved me because it was a Marty Wise modeling school. And they, they mentioned about that guy, Marty Wise. You know, he, he this guy got caught, you know, with, with, with his madness. But, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. I ain't going to, you know, go watch the documentary. Um, and I pray it open your eyes to how wicked this world really is, man. All right. With that being said, I'm going to say shout out to one point, about the ball. And uh, uh, double honest that I was in the process of the millstone. And on to the next one. Shout out one.